Hi, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. And in this week's video, I'm going to show how a product design suite workflow can take a positional representation, create it in Autodesk Inventor, and then use that to create a positional lineup inside of Autodesk Showcase. So let's go ahead and see how that process works. Here, inside Autodesk Inventor, I have this craftsman style coffee table that I've built and it has two positional representations associated to it. One with the drawer closed and another with the drawer open. Now I want to take this into showcase and create a rendering but I also want to recreate those positional representations as positional lineups inside of Autodesk Showcase. So how can I do that without actually recreating those lineups inside of Showcase? It's the suite workflows that help me out with that. So in order to begin the suite workflows, I click on the application icon, or as I like to call it, the big eye, and select my suite workflows. I'll have several options to choose from, but in this case I'm going to choose Showcase Realistic Presentation. The workflow will open up and I'll get a dialog box where I could run with defaults or choose settings and change some of my settings. Selecting settings, I can see that I can change the conversion settings, basically the tessellation or how coarse the facets are for this assembly. I can change the visual style, shadows, ambient shadows, ray tracing, and so on. I can also choose a background environment to use if I want to choose a particular background environment. I can also choose where my ground plane is. I like to use at the bottom of model, but your options may vary based on what you're doing. I can also choose to add object animations if I choose, center to the environment, and so on. There's no need to get alarmed if any of these settings get missed during the import process. They can be changed afterward inside of Showcase, so if you miss one or two, there's no need to fret. Once I'm ready to go, I can go ahead and choose Run. The process will begin, and Showcase will begin to open and will begin the process of importing those files. Now it will take a little bit to go ahead and convert the model over into Showcase, so we're going to accelerate time here while we wait. Now we can see that the table has come into Showcase. I can apply an environment if I choose. I can go ahead and call up my alternatives where the positional lineup resides. And we can see where I'm moving my mouse. I have my master where the drawer is closed and I have my drawer open lineup created with the drawer open. And I can choose between those at will. So I've already got those positional lineups created just by reusing what I've already created inside of Inventor. Now I can go ahead and just proceed to the rendering and get the rendering I need with a minimum of recreating any work that I've already done. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in our next one. Thank you very much. Good night.